Researchers here at St Vincent's Hospital have been working on this technique for around about four years, finding a way of transplanting a heart after its owner has died and it stopped beating. Michelle Grabalis and Jan Damon are living proof this world first surgery works. We've removed blood from the donor to prime the, to prime the machine. We then take the, the heart out. Uh, we perfuse the heart on the machine. We warm it up. And when we warm it up, the heart starts to beat. Previously, heart transplants were only possible when the donor was brain dead, but the heart was still beating. This technique allows for the heart to be completely still for up to 20 minutes before it's removed and then preserved in a machine for up to four hours before the transplant occurs. It's a wild thing to get your head around, that your heart's gone and you know, a stranger, someone you don't know is, uh, you know, part of them is now inside you. I'm privileged for it. It's, it's an amazing thing. Experts say this will revolutionise organ donations and reduce waiting lists for those who need a heart transplant, meaning far more suitable donors able to provide their organ and the gift of life to the recipient. Cameron Price, Sky News, Sydney.